June 17th. This is the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee meeting. Um, we have a quorum. And has, has everyone looked over the minutes? And if so, do I have a motion to accept or deny? I have a motion to accept the minutes as written. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We'll move right into old business. Uh, I think we're wrapping up our ball season. Um, hey, see if you want to give an update on RBI and, and all that. Well, went. I mean, it's been a... Uh, it's been an experience considering how how we got started uh we were very late getting started and and all the rain we've had it's been so many rain outs and everything else but uh, can, all those things considered i think it's been been pretty successful uh of course we have to get through the fall season as well but uh we got the rest of i think today is the last day that we're playing actually playing up at the park and then we have some adult uh games with the 18 and under girls and boys down here <coughs> and within the next week and a half we'll be done all the way around so uh but we made it <laughs> it was it was uh it was something else but we made it and uh upgrades to the senior field we're gonna uh, look we are planning on the upgrades to the senior field after the fall season after the fall. Uh, it's in the budget so uh, we have already spoke with uh, lou warner and his crew and uh we're looking at everything from just past the infield in we're gonna scrape it scrape everything off, get rid of all that sand that's out there, and uh, bring in some new dirt, uh, clay, and uh, resod the whole thing and try to set up uh, a better drainage system. So, Good. All right. Um, and also we have summer camp. Um, that started already, I believe. And summer camp's been going for two weeks, and it's been, considering we're doing it in the multi-purpose building, it's outstanding. It's been really good. Uh, Julie's doing a great job with that. And that's another thing I want to do. I want to introduce the people that don't know. Julie's our athletic and events coordinator now, and she's new. And then David McGowan is our new maintenance supervisor. So uh, y'all, if you would welcome them to our to our group up there. Uh, we're all pretty new at this, but uh, they're really hard workers. So I'm glad to have them. And also, since we met last, uh, you have removed the title um, interim. And you yes, I, I have removed that. I, I am director now, so. Uh, Congratulations. Well, thank you. I appreciate Congratulations it. Congratulations to all of you. And I'll be the first to say that I have had, you know, a couple of phone calls or just face-to-face -face questions asked of me, and Julie has handled everything remarkably. So, awesome. thank you. She's doing a wonderful job. Yep, I agree. You could just get her to say hello in restaurants and we'll do it. I'm only kidding. I have one question. RBI, do you think... Uh, Everything's settled now that next year we'll start up on time? Well, I don't, oh, we'll definitely start on time. I mean, we'll see how the fall season goes. Uh, we're in uh, the user agreement is for the spring and the fall season. And, uh, you know, I anticipate everything being just fine. Yeah, we'll start on time, no doubt. Because everything will be in place then. That was, uh, it's amazing that we had a season at all, really. Yeah, I, that's the reason I'm bringing it up. So yeah. next year, oh, yeah. everything will be in order and we'll continue. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. Guys, we're moving into new business. Uh, we got some uh, pretty exciting stuff coming up here in the next month, month and a half, and it starts July 2nd at 10 o'clock. I believe it's right over here at the library. Yep. Uh, it's the Great American Duck Race, which, uh, AC, if you would tell us a little bit about that, I think that's always a lot of fun. I don't know a whole lot about it. All I know is that we have, what, about 5,000 ducks at the park, and they're in a box upstairs, and, and uh, the kids, I guess, claim a duck. You know how it works? And uh, we have a big sheet of plastic that we you generally get from Lowe's, and they run in heats. And we, you know, you keep you, an eye on your duck, it's got a number on it or something, and they slide down and they run from point A to point B, and they go down and scoop them out of the water, and they have different heats. And, and uh, I know the kids love it, but I, I had yet to experience it myself, so I look forward to doing that. And, uh, has anyone been here? Has anyone attend that last year? I think it was pretty well attended, if I'm not mistaken. I think some of the camp, the, the campers came over, and some mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, kids that were to the library as well. So, yeah. um, 10 o'clock morning on July 2nd, which is a Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. All right. Good deal. Anything on the duck? Y'all come on out and claim a duck. <laughs> I, got to, I got to work that day. Me too. I got six grand. Can somebody take pictures for me. Uh, we'll get some pictures. Mm -hmm. All right, number two, um, our third annual, um, July 4th, Patriotic Picnic in the Park. Uh, 
I believe there's a few changes this year, some upgrades, and that's kind of was our goal in the beginning was to continue to get better. Um, if you want to kind of help us out there. I thought it was last year was outstanding on the football field. It, it went really well. Um, we're going to hold it on the football field again. The uh, we only had one flatbed trailer for a stage last year, so it was a little bit tricky for the band. They had to be careful. You didn't, you couldn't go too far in either direction. Plus, it was kind of hard for us to put the tents up. But this year, um, we have contacted uh, Express uh, Auto or the wrecking yard behind us, and they have agreed to let us use two of their flatbed trailers. They're going to pull them in side by side, so that we'll have a really big stage this time. Ooh, and, and you know, it's a little, it's a lot safer, and the tents will fit on it much better. And, uh, and they're doing that free of charge for us, and they're going to bring them over and park them, and, and uh, I think that's going to be a whole lot better. Uh, we will serve, uh, I think football is going to open up, and they're going to run concessions. And uh, we're going to have the library come over, and they're going to do uh, Little Caesar's Pizza, and who else? Uh, Box has agreed to run the bounce houses for us. That'll be awesome. And uh, we got to have, what, face painting or face tattoos this tattoos. year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Uh, of course, you know, the live music, uh, Missy Garnett is coming back, and uh, they're fantastic. And uh, what else? Am I leaving anything out? We're trying to get the seniors centers. Oh, that's right. We're going to get the senior centers to have a bake sale, benefit them a little bit. And uh, they always bake some good stuff there. So, yes, they do. <laughs> uh, it, it should be. It'll be wonderful. I what time is it starting? We're going to start at 6, isn't that right? Six yeah. Six I agree with... Uh, Missy Garnett, we've had him out here, I think it's been twice, and, yeah. and everyone's loved him. Um, really, uh, really gets the crowd into it. And, well, uh, their work ethic is insane. They come out, what time they get here? Like one or two o'clock last year, and just spent so much time setting up and getting everything just right. I mean, they're, they're really, I, I mean, for the money, you can't beat them. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. We have fireworks that night or not? Yes, sir. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. Sure. You know, um, and, and get there early. I think a lot of people um, didn't know it, but they were getting in late and, and kind of getting stuck in the parking lot. And I think, uh, quite frankly, at the end, there was probably triple the people in part, the first parking lot than there was in the field. But it, it, it's a lot of a lot of fun just to get there early. Yeah. And Maybe we'll put some signs up, you know, pointing people in the right direction. Uh, we're going to block off that back lot. I believe it's actually outside the fall zone, uh, the front part of it. But we're, you know. Better safe than sorry, so we'll keep everybody out of that. I think it's a great idea as far as that second trailer because I just knew that drummer was going to go tipping over last year. He, <laughs> he was pretty close to the edge. So. Yeah. But, uh, all right, guys, anything else on, on uh, July 4th? All right. And then on, we'll move into August, uh, which we will meet again before then, but uh, just so everyone starts thinking about this is our uh, music in the park. Mm -hmm. um, which uh, is still going to be held in the same area? or you Same area. Okay. That works really well there. It's uh, That's a good spot for it. We Actually, we don't have, I mean, we have a couple of ideas for the music in the park. Uh, me and Julie were talking about it today. We're thinking about maybe going uh, with, I know you all know Gary Paler. I believe you introduced Gary to the city for the first time. He's awesome, and he is now actually a three-piece band. He has gotten two guys since. Um, one guy plays a mandolin and a, and a ukulele and, and a couple other instruments, and I think one of them plays bongo drums or something. But I'm sure it worked because he's, he's a heck of a musician, and they're really good. So we're thinking about him and maybe um, what was it? Hands of Time Bluegrass, you know, something uh, that the older crowd might like a little bit. Uh, spoke with him on the phone a couple of times, and he he's a hoot to talk to. <laughs> so, uh, and we did get a, we listened to him on YouTube. They're pretty good. You know, and they're an unplugged type of thing, so they, they would be, you know, uh, no electric guitars and all that stuff. But you know, anyone that, uh, that went to that, I don't think anyone walked away and said, you know, I didn't like it. I think that our challenge again is to get that word out to, because um, once they're there, they love it. And even they, they're not really their type of music. Um, everyone has a good time, and yeah. we've been kind of fortunate with the weather. Um, one night was a little hot, but the other night was was very nice that we that we did that last year. But uh, People would really enjoy that. So if we can get that out somehow, uh, that would be great. That's what I was thinking. That um, advertising is going to be huge for that because nobody knows about it, and it's and it is back there by the B and B. And Kathy, if we could get something going on the city website for that, and and uh, maybe make up some flyers and take around and put in like Food Line and and uh, Kroger and places where there's a lot of crowd going in and out, that'll help to promote that a little more. Absolutely. I have a question on my calendar. I have one for this coming Saturday. 
Yeah, that's that, that one has been canceled. That been canceled. Yeah, okay. we canceled. There were a couple things that we canceled due to the staff changes up there, and you know, okay. so. But uh, we're trying to keep everything as as is best that we can. But yeah, we had to cancel that one. But we are going to go through with the uh, one that we have set for August. And uh, a couple of days later, it's National Night Out, um, which is always big. Very busy month. <laughs> so, and that's always when we have uh, the. Uh, police against the fire and the tug of war and the softball game and and uh, all that stuff and and uh we have we have got i think we talked about trying to get some vendors this year you know like we did the year before that was really big we had a lot of a lot of things set up in the front parking lot i think we had those big bounce houses set up there too and and the radio stations came and and uh and i'd kind of like to go back in that direction with that that was that was pretty fun they cooking hamburgers and hot dogs well hot dogs uh, we're going to talk about that. I think that was a good idea. That was pretty successful. I don't think anybody, we didn't take any home with us. I know that. <laughs> they were all gone. So uh, I think it, we can look for some donations for that kind of stuff. And, and uh, yeah, if y'all know anybody, talk to them and, and send well, them out. I've been doing that for the last, I'm not trying to brag, but last seven or eight years. And last year we had the concession stand. And we cooked them in there and I think the year before you and the Boy Scouts cooked them outside by the pavilion yeah. did you not yeah, yeah, yeah. We did for years mm -hmm. and it's uh, really hot and then over that stove and uh, the, the burner we had you know it's, uh, we can get the, uh, the uh, concession stand to cook them in there and then have put them in the big tub that worked out well that did work out well yeah, it worked out uh, real Ronnie well. Mosley was in there cooking too wasn't he? <laughs> We had a lot of people in there yeah. helping. You yeah. had the wrappers, the cookers, and the yeah. take it out people. Yeah, that is. That, I think that's a better way to go with it. But yeah, it's we can cooler do it. in there than it is outside. You know, just, before we couldn't ever get to the concession stand. Well, that we can use the concession stand. That's not a problem. Okay. Right. And then, so I guess the voice. I mean, the uh, box one hundred is going to take care of that. I do not know. There are new people in charge of National Night Out this year with the police well, department. Well, I'm so. involved in that, so I'm, <laughs> I'm sure they will So I know we're going to be part of it, but we haven't discussed that far ahead as okay. to the food part. Um, two weeks later, Friday night, I believe, is the um, Howl to Moon, which is our 5K run here that's been um, very, very successful. Yes. Um, each year it gets a little bit bigger. I think last year we were kind of... There were some thunderstorms that kind of went through that kind of our numbers were a little down but other than that i think we would have been it's always a great walk up there yeah um, i'm glad that our uh, old hr director is not here i um, hope he doesn't come back and challenge me to run <laughs> he, he may do it, you know i actually he heard i think he's going to wow well <laughs> i'll be the cheerleader though i gotta really hit the treadmill or run again or something but anyhow um it's a lot of fun it really is and, and uh um, we talked today a little bit, AC. Are we going to have uh, a radio station out there again or the, the DJ? Because I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, um, he has been, uh, I believe, before Jeff left, he booked uh, TJ, CJ to come back out there for that. So he's on the books, and that's one of those things that we're going to try to, you know, he booked it. So we're going to try to keep him. Um, we had to tell him to turn it down a couple of times. He, he was getting loud, but, you know, it's good for the ambient noise. But uh, And another thing, too, when we went to uh, Lowe's about a month ago, for uh, contractor appreciation, they uh, we spoke with Waffle House and they donated 250 hamburgers already for that night. Oh, so, so that's good. I mean that that helps out a lot. So between apples and oranges and hamburgers and and we'll see if we can round up a few more hamburgers and hot dogs somewhere else too. But uh, I think Jeff had enough uh, barbecue last year to feed about 500 people. So and there was plenty of that left over. So yeah. when do y'all start taking uh, entries? For the race, when yep. do we do that? You know, Julie. I'm gonna get the order form now, so probably in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. If that long, yeah. And what's the you in? Oh, I'll be in. All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> May not make a good time, but I'll be in. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the entry fee for this I year? I believe we're gonna keep it at twenty-five. Yeah. I believe. Is Isn't it cheaper if you do it before? Mm -hmm. um, or yeah, I think it's thirty the day of and twenty-five if you pre-register. I believe, but I'll double check on that. Plus, you can get a sponsorship package if you'd like to do that. And Absolutely. The more you, you know, the more the bigger your sponsorship fee is, the uh, then you get like what four, four free entries to the race, and uh, you know, depending on how big your package. I bet there's businesses that may look into that. That's some employee 
Also, are we going to hook up again with the Striders or whatever the other uh, Nashville running group um, where you can sign up online? Um, I don't, did we do that last year? I believe we did. Mm -hmm. Did we do that? Um, I, I will have to double check on um, that. And if, and if we didn't, I know at one point we did and I know it was very successful. Yeah. Um, they actually advertised for you uh, and right. again, that's just their particular little group. So uh, okay. maybe a good idea there. But, uh, so it's a lot of fun and, and uh, there's some door prizes or whatever at the end of the night and, and yep. just a, a whole lot of fun. So. All right, we'll uh, move on to uh, the big one. And I'm glad that we have our uh, director of Old Time Festival here with us. Uh, so maybe she could shed some light into uh, what's going on with that. But September 13th to the 15th is um, our Old Time Festival. And some new things and some exciting things this year. So whoever would like to take that. Right. Yeah. Well, we do have, um, still waiting for the Carnival Company to sign the contract. I've, I've called them. I remember last year they skidded into home at the very last minute with that, so I'm, I'm kind of anticipating that again this year, but I have been in touch with them. They're coming on Thursday, not, well, Thursday to open up for their, what do they call it, like their teas on Thursday night, and then they'll be running Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, we will have the hot air balloon rides. That they'll they're tethered rides. You know, it's not going to be free flying all over everywhere. <laughs> Tickets, it it it's not going to be a break even, but we're putting it in the entertainment budget. The tickets are going to be seven fifty for adults, five dollars for children twelve and under. We wanted to, we could have made the fee higher to break even, but we felt it was very important to give children in our community and the families in our community the chance to do that sure. because it's something that people don't generally get to do and we wanted to provide that opportunity can i jump in to clarify something though before we get calls that it's not 750 or five dollars to get in it's just for if for the want, hot air balloon the hot ride air balloon for the okay. tethered hot air balloon ride only yes um you know you'll have to pay your tickets for the carnival but everything else the entertainment is free we are almost solidly booked now for the entertainment we have a, a couple of little spots open on the community stage which is traditionally where we'll have like little local dance groups or schools that perform we have um one lady booked who who also besides general pop music performs spanish opera and i thought that would be kind of fun for our Hispanic community, really for anyone. We do have um, what's called a new generation hip hop hour this year for the first time ever. And it is going to be actually Christian hip hop music. Um, but I know when we talk about, it's not generation X, we're a couple of the millennium generation. This is the music they listen to and we wanted to be able to reach out to all of them. But we've got country music, we've got bluegrass music. I think we've got regular, you know top 40 music that they're just all kinds sunday we're going back between noon and i, I think it's two but it may be one we'll have the um the old time gospel homecoming and then after that we are doing the baby show again um we have made arrangements for shuttles this year I'm, I'm meeting with ac we are going to have signs made this year to show that there are free shuttle rides um, so people will know about them this year and to also push people back to the craft section and back to the food vendors i've got i think at this point four food vendor applications in i've got four or five crafters already in um, i talked with the lady i think it was today and i've already heard back she has a group of five different crafters and all of them are planning to come this year and then deborah gave me a stack of business cards from the I moon pie or pie festival she went festival there again. and actually found several crafters who live here in laverne here in who laverne. weren't aware that we're looking for craft craft people we've got um i think at this point six or seven sponsors including i think four major sponsors are already on board so we're we're doing we're we're moving forward later this week montique and i Mon montique is our city's grant writer and she's also working on the buy local program shop local so she and i are going to go out together this week she's going to bring the shop local things and i'm going to bring information about sponsorship and getting your business name out there 
Um, we're doing that this week to go meet with businesses. So if people see us popping in their business this week, that's going to be us asking them if they were interested in participating. And the week before the, the pageant? Had... Pageant is the week before. Um, haven't got any entries, but usually those come in at the very last minute. Um, we will also have the parade Saturday morning. Those entries are already coming in. We have verified, who is it, Rolling Thunder? Yeah. yeah. Thunder One is the, the local group. They are the Grand Marshals this year. They're the, they're the motorcycle club that rides for the POWs and MIAs. So we were really thrilled to get them. They do have, uh, they'll be on their motorcycles, but we, we have a family here that usually drives their convertible for the Grand Marshal, but we have an elderly couple that's a member of that motorcycle organization, and they're gonna ride in that convertible. They're, they're not able to ride their motorcycles. Um, Shriners haven't heard from. I know that uh, Rescue is still doing their country ham breakfast. I think that's gonna kick off their country ham breakfast for the year also. Um, we'll have, of course, Harley is going to be doing the floats for the Queens and Runners Up and Miss People's Choices. We've got all their crowns in. Every, every girl gets a crown this year. So if you haven't entered your daughter yet. Sorry, Tom, your daughter's so <laughs> old. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, also, we we're bringing back... Uh, Skin and Bones? Skin say. and Bones, the Animal Circus is going to be back. We have um, the, the Board of Mayor and Aldermen have already approved that contract. We're going to have three shows on Saturday and three shows on Sunday. Again, there's no charge for that. It's the Pot Bellied Pig Train Dog Show, hugely popular. Um, Sunday, when we're not doing the hot air balloons, I've also confirmed with the Army, they're bringing their rock wall and they're going to have a Wii station set up. So we've got something happening Sunday also. The entertainment tent this year, to, to change directions a little bit, we're going to put skin and bones in the back, and then I think 4-H is talking about bringing um, ponies for pony rides back there also. We're not going to have them so close to the food court where it's not going to be a good thing, <laughs> but they're going to be in that general area to try to pull people back there. And I think that we had train rides back there also. Um, we're moving the entertainment tent up to the front. And we talked about that quite a bit, and what we had heard from a lot of people in the community was it was just it was it was difficult for them to get back there and listen to the entertainment. So we heard what they had to say. We're moving it to the front. It, there's going to be enough distance between the carnival and the entertainment tent. We're still tenting it so people will have be able to sit down in the shade and not with the sun beating down. But there will be enough distance where they're not going to conflict with each other. Um, we'll have the senior area and the library area also up there, and also our major sponsors will be there also. Um, we're, we're looking at it pretty long and hard. We do have another organizational meeting this Wednesday at 3 o'clock, just to go over more details. Um, one other thing, and I'm going to shift off of old timers. On July 19th, we're looking at doing a Movies in the Park at Lake Forest Park. And we want to do that to hopefully kick off the fundraising and, and the public awareness about the efforts to build a playground back there in that park. So July 19th, we're going we're gonna to encourage people to walk to the park, not drive, because there, there really is very limited parking back there. Um, and I know Deborah has been looking hard for grant opportunities also, and I, I know that she probably wants to talk to our city attorney again about getting a 501c3 because that's where grant money is is in the 501c3s so any questions a, about either <laughs> do we have any movies picked out what movies no going yet? no we're open to ideas we do have that license where we can show movies um and i'll have to get the name of the the, the people who provide the screen and the sound system i've already talked with one guy who was supposed to be getting me a quote today or tomorrow and then we'll find out who you've used okay. in previous years and get a couple of quotes we're also still looking at quotes for the stage and sound and light system for old timers. I know Deborah has some connections and we've been working together on that. And I think we, who did we use All Star Audio yeah. last year? Mm -hmm. We were in a three year contract. I know Tom, you had helped to negotiate that. Um, this would be our third year using them. 
I know one of the things that Deborah is looking at, the, the stage rental is what clobbers us as the biggest expense of that expense. But she's been looking online about the possibility, and I know she's talked with AC about it, about the city buying our own stage. She actually found, found one that we can buy for the same price just about that we rent one for. And the cost would be after the first year. We'd yeah, it's paid it. for. Then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Right. Um, and we have storage space at the shop for it. So um, assembling it is, is the only thing. And that's, I mean, it takes time. But, I mean, if you can buy one for the same price you're renting it for. It's, if you say four to $5,000 every year, yeah, every the, event yeah, that we lot, don't that have to. That could go to something else, right. you know. Yeah. So. There's no reason that that couldn't be used for any of these other. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Exactly. Deal. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about that. Thank you, Deborah. Well, and good thing is it's in sections as well. So if you did need a small stage, you wouldn't have to put the whole thing together. You could only put pieces of it up, and and uh, it served that purpose as well. So, I mean, it. I mean, five thousand dollars is pricey, but it's compared to what we've been spending. It's nothing. I mean, just for rental every yeah, just year, for the rental. every right. event. Yeah. Yeah, we just started talking about this. Yeah, so. it would have to go before the Board of yeah. Mayor and Aldermen. But I, I don't think that that would be a problem. I would think that would be something we'd want to do, that they would want to do, because it'll save us money in the long run. Well, so. we've got money in the old timers mm -hmm. budget already right. for right. the entertainment. We could take the lion's share of it out of that, and then mm -hmm. I know that the extra thousand or whatever, that, that would be easily found in Parks and Rec. And the big thing is also is when you when we're trying to find the uh, the people to do this for us, they're doing stage lights and the audio system. So it'd be a whole lot easier if all you're looking for is lights and, and a sound system. You know, that that come a whole whole lot cheaper than trying to do all three in, in one bundle. Great. especially how we tried to do it the last couple of years, where we had two stages going at once, or, or having the ability to do that, where right. we're not waiting on other events to tear down and set up and so on. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Um, guys, anything further on uh, old timers? Any questions? All right. Um, while we're talking, uh, AC, you wanted to speak a little about some grant information that uh, you're yeah, working I've on. Been, I've Maybe. been uh, speaking with Montique and, and Deborah. I've been wearing them out, especially Montique. Find, you know, find me grant money. And uh, she, she approached me this morning. She did find some grant money for the basketball court up in front of the park. I mean, it's not in terrible shape, but things look better when you spiffy them up a little bit. And we're, we're looking at maybe sealing it and repainting the lines on it and replacing the backboards. I mean, something that small is going to make it look like a brand new court. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, she's getting all the particulars for me. It's, uh, it's, not, a, it's not a match grant. It's, I mean, they'll, they'll pay for it. So uh, if we can get that, I'll fill out whatever necessary paperwork I need to get. And uh, I, I'm anticipating it not being more than five thousand dollars for what we're trying to do. So, I mean, that would be fantastic if we could it's get that. It's very heavily used too. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, there's people on it all the time. So, uh, I mean, it, they do use it a lot. So, hopefully, that'll come through and we can get that done within the next couple of months. That'd be great. So. All right, guys. Uh, next meeting is uh, July fifteenth, six o'clock. It will be a workshop for being here. Um, I want to just give you all an update. Um, I've, I've been updating you for the last two and a half years about our sidewalk projects. Um, so uh, we're actually on our last sidewalk project, uh, Safe Routes to School. And uh, what I hear today is uh, uh, July 15th is, is the, uh, uh, they'll be done by then. If, if you go down uh, Floyd Mayfield right now towards, uh, between Roy Waldron and, and the middle school, you can see where they're, they're already working. And uh, uh, I think it's just going to be a great thing. But uh, the awesome thing is uh, that's three sidewalk projects um, that have sat anywhere between five and 12, 13 years that um, the city paid little or nothing. That one there is a 100% grant. Um, you, you know, so, uh, and we, we finished, uh, finished that up and I think that'd be great to keep the kids out of the, out of the street. So I wanted to give you an update there. Um, our uh, Hurricane Creek Greenway is in approval stage with the state. Um, there's some things we're looking at we'd like to see. There's some things the state would like to see. Um, still looking at uh, probably, hopefully, in April or May, uh, start, uh, construction start next year, and probably a 12 to 14 month to, to finish it. Um, and as soon as I get any more information, I'll keep you all updated about that. But, but again, I think that'll be just another piece. Uh, it'll be a lot more work for, for parks to keep up with. But, uh, uh, you know, it'll be great for the city. So. Do we have a um, major deadline on that, like we did the last one? 
what I understand about that, that, was, that goes back to 1999, and it was part of a, a highway bill um, back in 99, and the monies somehow got shifted to different parts of the county. Came back here, uh, Mayor Mosley actually, uh, they called her to sign off, and she said, we're not signing off on anything, basically. Um, and it was $1.4 million. So unless Congress changes the highway bill, well, I don't even think at this point, because now as soon as it's approved by the state, it's a go. Um, so we got everything in in time, but had they have changed the highway bill, there may have been some issues with that money. They may have called it back in. Um, but it's, I think we're I think we're past that point. And I think we're <laughs> so there's no, no deadline, no one can take it away or whatever. No, I think the state, like once the they grants. come back to their approval, will give them a certain, uh, the, uh, the successful bid or a certain amount of time to come back and finish the project. And, and my guess would probably be if, 18 months, would you say, maybe? Um, and, and they're thinking about 12 to 14 months is what I was told for complete construction. So. Good deal. It'd be great. Yeah. It'd be really nice. Long time over. Well, guys, we're down to comments. Um, Deb, we'll start with you if you have anything. And it sounds to me like you've been working hard looking at the grants. Uh, trying to look for grants. Um, and I really got motivated. I have to tell a short little story. Um, I watched last board meeting on Channel 3 and was so tickled by those two little kids that wanted that splash pad. It really motivated me and um, uh, Montique also and uh, hopefully we can find some money to get uh, all the kids of Laverne that splash pad that they desire. Awesome. And I, and I have to keep doing this but I'm going to clarify that we're looking for grants where the city is not paying or city pays such a small portion right. uh, where it's paid for by federal funding or, or state funding or, or, or so on. Um, but I, I just had to clarify that because I'm certain one or all of us would have called saying, uh, you know, we don't have this and the city is looking at a splash pad. Right. Yeah, but that's not right. what we're doing. We're, we're trying to, to bring quality of life and try to do it uh, with, with things such as grants and so on. Right. And there is uh, next year some large grants opening with the state. And that, that's some things that Montique will be looking at that we Super. already have our eye out for. So, excited about that. Robert? I'd just like to wish the new employees a welcome to the board. Please have any problems with the board here. We can go to work. I think everything in case you're going to do a good job on this. They see I'm here. Starting off all right. I'm happy to have a good job for the city. Kathy has her hands in about, um, I don't want to call you a jack of all trades, but she, she uh, at our retail convention, she, um, if she could get an award for that, that, that alone, um, she did a great job. to give her a big head. <laughs> but, uh, we want you to stay, we don't want you to leave. Thank you. So I told her she does too good of a job, somebody will come and steal her. Amanda's the anchor here. We'll keep flipping jobs, and she's got them anchored and <laughs> keeping them all on track. <laughs> well, welcome. Um, again, we have a really, really busy season, but we have a really, really good group. So I think it's going to be highly successful, and I can't wait to see y'all every month so we can woo cheer together. Jason, no, definitely welcome to everybody, and. Uh, Definitely looks like a very busy and exciting uh, next couple months. So. Bruce? <laughs> I'll continue the welcome to everybody. I look forward to working with all of you. And uh, David, I don't know if your maintenance department covers, but I have I sent Amanda an email, I think, complimenting the work that's been done in Heritage Park the last two or three times. It's, it's been exceptional. So I appreciate that. Just the, the monthly maintenance down there. I did note, and you may want to be aware, that it looks like somebody has either taken the sign or just pushed it out, and you may want to look into that. Actually, I believe the wind blew that down. Really? <laughs> it got really bad, yeah. But we are, we're looking at replacing several signs around the city right now. And if we get one that said no motorized vehicles, that would help. Okay. All right. Again, welcome to everybody. And uh, I wanted to say something about David. I mean, I'll tell you, um, he came two years ago, I believe, but uh, every time that I've seen you anywhere, this guy is a worker. So um, it's uh, great to see you move up, and, and uh, congratulations. And I don't, not to take anything anyone else, but I, I wanted to, <laughs> to say that as well. Um, 
other than that, guys, thank you very much, and, and uh, there's nothing else. We'll adjourn.